work, girl. Good morning to you. Morning to you. Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Le Moine for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and hey, can I get a drink here? Mm. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they lucky to have us. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably have run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that right. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Sure. That's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister. If I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, friend. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss, big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. Oh, and friend, you will be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. to any man with a ring on his finger and turn it three times? Hi there. Have you seen any kids around here? Oh, yeah. Just through that archway there. Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Where's he live, New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Some bad bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. 
Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits. Let's go. That fellow looks angry. Ah, God damn it. talking about friend I ain't your friend but that kid is and he robbed from me now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte Senor Bronte that kid was gonna show me before he robbed me <gasps> oh. come on you new in town mister come on mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends mister but I ain't never seen you we ain't friends you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yokel. Now, get out of here.
Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less, the swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just these some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, we're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This place? <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? <laughs> You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for I got this. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Nathan! Who are these guys? I'm here for a What why do you take his son? Excuse me. 
I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers, it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business! We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we... we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> Not the barest woman. <laughs> Angelo Bron. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marson. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. That's it, girl. All right, let's go. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's were gonna hold Jack Branch. Hey, for all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just... Get this done, and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. There, girl. Okay, I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead.
This way. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. Hang on. That might be something. And keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on us. How they expect anyone to rest in peace when they ain't even buried him in the ground? Is that what you want, Marston? Peace? One day. I'll go first. You stay close. Once we get the boy back, that bastard better keep his word. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook him. I'm gonna check over here. Stop. Hey there, boy. Let's keep going. to drink. Your friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. The sooner we get this done, the sooner we get Jack back. someplace okay but we'll need to be quick we can't go back to Bronte empty-handed let's have a look where they first shot at us from <sighs> robbing grave robbers we've hit the big time we can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it Arthur kicked off.
Think there might be something in here. <laughs> Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit, it's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Come on. We best stick to the side. It's guys. lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. But let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Well, like I said, 
We'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Everything. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boy. Let's go. We have a new plan set up, Jack. You're going to love it. Well done, girl. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh! He'll be there, too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least, that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Get the money we need and disappear. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys! We got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family.
Catch you later, then. Whatever you say. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Ida. Thanks. I never tell you boys about the time I was hanged. Oh, I think so. Tell us again. So I got caught doing something or another. I was just a kid, 17, 18, long before I met Dutch. I was newly an orphan. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was, and he decided I was going to be hanged for it. For a chicken? Yes. Only some folks thought it was unfair. <laughs> and at the hanging, there was a riot. They went to lynch me. But uh, someone I never saw, he shot the rope. Clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. And I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. Well, was you scared? <laughs> Absolutely petrified. <laughs> well, fair enough. <laughs> Thanks again for that watch, Arthur. I left something for you by your bed. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Oh, I'm sure I did.
in bed beside him to keep my sailor warm singing home boys home it's where i want to be home boys home with the girl on either knee with that little ribbon tarpaulin hat and that coat and navy blue let him climb the rigging like ain't no being lost <laughs> them fights was over long ago or never happened was only invented to make you feel something out of nothing makes no difference ain't sure nothing makes a difference can't see how tide comes in tide goes out you was born you die in between you do what you do Ain't no good, ain't no bad, just things that make you feel good or make you feel sad. And just the length of time between being born and dying, that's all there is. <laughs> ain't no old man judging man. Ain't no heaven. And maybe there is damnation. But I think I know what that'll be like. And I'm gonna be right at home there. And that's it. See it for what the hell it is. Mr. Bell, had fun robbing graves, I hear. Yeah, that's more your style. <laughs> On board the Hartman stage, pulling all about the sheets, as Peg Buzz knew about the sheets. Started as a thieving lad in 1849. Opposition they defies, people must be called or die. Misty plug tobacco smoke. We dress as in tobacco spit. I have the feeling you're about to tell me. You have ruined my life. Walking on behind you, on your shoulders. I'm sure you do. You see everything differently. When your hair you take, you'll have to walk over half the way. Then you'll have to stand with a cunning laugh. You'll have to push the other hand. You started as a thief in line in 1849. All opposition they defied, so the people must root hog or die. Root hog. Can. The strong, silent, manly one of us. <laughs> You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. Well, then don't smell it, you stuck-up piece of shit. Goddamn you. Take it easy, Miss Karen. Okay, well, oh, let's talk more later. See? Okay, okay Arthur. See? David. what I tell you? Listen. Next time... Listen, faith, faith is all that matters. We had faith, and we made it. We are gonna make it. We have a plan. My friends, my loved ones, a plan. It is a real plan. 
We are gonna leave this place, and we are gonna find our own paradise, our own heaven. Tahiti, Fiji, Australia, the real new world. Not this godforsaken dump that all of Europe's detritus has handed out its peasants' vengeance on. We are gonna be free! Free. Yes, we are, Dutch! That's right, boss. Too right, Dutch! All day long on the prairies I ride Not even a dog to trot by my side Fire I kindle with cow chips around My coffee I pour without being drowned I wash mm -hmm. in a pool and I wipe mm -hmm. on a sack I carry my wardrobe mm -hmm. all on my back. back. Or mm -hmm. one of another mm -hmm. I could bread, bread in a pot. And I sleep on the ground for want of, of a cot. <laughs> See the sky, the forest, the grass. My music's the lowering of my shiny white ass. <laughs> my books are guns, my sermons the stones. <laughs> my parson's a wolf on his pulpit the of bones. bones. I sometimes I rob a bank, bank on, on Main Street. Street. You can't can blame, blame me for wanting to eat. eat. But show me a man that mm -hmm. sleeps more profound mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. big old Uncle lying out <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> As the newspapers call for our gangs to mine, says we're no good thieves that you should despise. A parson remarks from his pulpit of bones, fortune favors those who look out for their own. Not much. 